okay. <coughs> in this problem, you have actually two couples. You have a couple formed by this force and this force. Then you have another couple formed by this force and this force. And the question is to find the resultant or determine resultant couple and they want this done by two different methods. First is finding moment of each couple. The second thing you want to do is to summing moment about point B. So we want to do the same this problem by two different methods. First is to find the moment of this couple and let's call this as MC1. Then we want to find the moment due to this couple. Let's call this as MC2. We add the two and that should give us the resultant couple. So that should be one approach second approach is to sum all the moments. <coughs> sum all the moments by point B and uh, that should also give you the resultant couple. So either way we should be able to get exact same answer. So let's look at this here first. Uh, <coughs> I want to find the moment of this couple. What I could do is do the same thing. That is, you work with components. Let me see, you have a component going this way and a component going this way. So this is going to be 40 cosine 30. This is going to be 40 cosine 30. This component is 40 sine 30 that component is 40 sine 30. <coughs> then <coughs> uh, this said that I could choose this point and sum the moments. Now what's going to happen is when I choose this point these two will give a zero moment. This one will also give a zero moment. So it's going right through the force or uh, the point. So all you got left is this. So I could take <coughs> 40 cosine